guys and welcome to my video. This is going to be my first Let's Play series. Basically, I'm just going to be playing a family with a story behind it. And yeah, I'm just basically going to play Sims. And hopefully you guys enjoy it, watching it. So, um, let's just get into the video. With this story, it's about a mother and her young child. And basically, the mother was kicked out when she was 18 because she gave birth to her daughter, Quinn. And her family was never really supportive of her to begin with. Then, this is little Quinny. Quinn is inquisitive. She is a very curious toddler, wants to know about everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started playing. So, they are living in this house right now. Um, I don't even know if it can really be called a house because it's an abandoned house and it's more like a shack. They got it for really cheap and they only have $100 left over, so they're going to have to work extra hard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a house tour and just show you the inside of the house. So, yeah. So this is what the house looks like in the inside. As you can see, it's very small and it's just basically what they need. Bathroom, the tub so that she can bathe Quinn and there's a bed for Quinn, some toys and stuff. There's a small TV and a couch which is where Kendall will sleep because there is no room to put a bed and they also can't afford one. This is the kitchen area, just really small. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's just very small. It's just what they need and nothing more. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started playing. Okay, so... This is Mom, and Mom is unemployed right now. She doesn't have a job. And she can't really because she has to watch Quinn because Quinn doesn't go to school yet. So, she's going to go try and earn some money eventually. But right now she has to keep an eye on Quinn. So, I'm going to have her cook some food just so that she can have it ready for when they do need it. I'm going to have her cook some grilled cheese and family salad. So here, um, Kendall is finishing up the grilled cheese. I'll finish. I'm going to go ahead and have her put it away for later so they can have that ready to eat for when they need it. So Kendall's going to need to definitely get some money tonight because, um, they're not going to be able to pay their bills, which isn't good. So I'm going to have her come over here. And check Quinn. Let's see. And also read her a toddler book because she's a really um, curious little girl, so I think she would really like that. Okay, now they're done. Quinn needs to go to the bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and potty train Quinn. Now I think Quinn should go outside and play dolls with her mommy. Let's see if those two would like to do that. Mom wants to watch TV. <laughs> Quinn was like, I'm going outside. But I don't think she should be outside by herself. So you probably should come out here with her. Oh, right here is something that she can dig up while Quinn is playing outside. And we might be able to get some money from that. Mom's looking. Fishing place right here. So we're going to have her go fishing. Quinn is nearby, so she can keep an eye on Quinn and 
go fishing. I'm gonna go see her mommy. So Kendall has been fishing for quite a long time, probably almost um, four hours, and she's very tense. And Quinn is definitely not having it. She's done for the day. So we're going to go ahead and go inside. So let's pick Quinn up and put Quinn here. We're also going to open up our fridge and get out the grilled cheese that we cooked earlier. And they need to eat. Our mom is going to use the toilet and Gwen is going to grab a serving of grilled cheese. And we're going to turn on the lights now. And mom's also going to grab a serving. Eating her grilled cheese like a queen. Kendall is done eating, so she is going to put away the extra grilled cheese. Then she is going to clean up, and then she is going to read Quinn to sleep, because Quinn is very tired. And um, I forgot to show you guys what she got when she was fishing. She fished for about four hours, and she only caught a trout and this um, crystal thing. I don't know why she caught that, but she did. So it's worth $55, this is $19, and that's $80. So, after she's done reading Quinn to sleep, she is going to turn, well, we can just turn off the lights now. And then we're going to lock door for everyone but Kendall. So... Quinn won't be able to get out either until she goes over there to help her. Now we're going to have her go collect some stuff to sell so that she can buy the things that she needs to buy. Which is right here, so now allow access to household. And then we are going to take a nap because she is a tired girl. She's been working to find stuff. So she found this striped leaf frog that's worth $10. So we're going to go ahead and sell that. Then she also found a striped eggplant frog. We're going to sell that too. She also found this trout worth $19. We're going to sell that. She dug up this ooh, rare crystal. That's cool. And then there's this one that's $55. So we're going to sell that as well. And then this rock is worth $80. So we're going to sell that. She has some snapdragons. We're going to keep those for a moment. We found a fossil rock worth $50. Then we also have player second. We also found this treasure map that you can use to find treasure. So we're definitely gonna have to use that next time we dig something up. And then we're gonna go ahead and sell this rare crystal worth $150. That'll really help out. And once she is done doing that. Taking her nap a couple times. We're going to have her take a bath and then get well. And then we're going to have her come over here and plant some flowers. That might be able to help out with um, doing money. Looks like Quinn is up and... She is hungry, so we need to get some food out for her, 
Right now she's playing. She also needs to go to the bathroom and take a bath, so we're gonna have her grab a serving of that. So go do that, Quinn. And mom is finishing up that, then she's going to take a bath, and she's going to plant while Quinn is eating the leftover grilled cheese, which isn't really a good breakfast, but it's what they have left over, and they're really on a budget right now, so they're going to eat everything that they have in order to save on money, and grilled cheese is what they have available. Quinn is done and she really needs to go to the bathroom and take a bath so mom is going to have to wait to plant her stuff and she's going to potty train Quinn and give Quinn a bubble bath. Mom is very hungry but her daughter is her first priority, so she's going to make sure her daughter is taken care of before she does her own needs. Now she's going to give Quinn a bubble bath. There we go. Quinn is done and she is wandering. Get you go, girl. But I'm going to have her plant this over here so that they can have an extra income. Of course, this will take a while to grow and we won't get profit right away, but in the long run, it will be the best option for them. Since Quinn is busy playing and she is all set, we're going to go ahead and see if we can collect more things to sell. I made sure to have Quinn not go too far or Kendall not go too far away from Quinn because that wouldn't be good. We don't want anyone stealing this cutie over here. She's going to hug her teddy bear. Mom's coming to check on her. So let's see what she got. Looks like we got a $30 sunflower frog. That's cute. But we're going to sell it because we need the money. Then we also have a, another stone, so we're going to go ahead and sell that as well. And we got two times capsules. I don't know if we should open them or sell them. Get $140 for both of them. I think I'm going to have her open them just for the fun of it. Because I am. I, I don't know, I just like surprises. So we found a poppy that was worth 20 and a tobor which is worth 140. So actually opening it was a better choice. We got one trophy that was worth both of them combined together, sold, and $20 one. So we got an extra $20 from opening. So they have a little bit of extra money, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with the extra money that they're going to have to better their um, home situation.
right now this is all they could afford and it's just adding a, a little extra room to the house and a bed for the mom so let's go ahead and continue playing so quinn has to go to the potty so we're gonna take quinny to the potty Quinn is almost done going to the bathroom, so she is going to come over here and serve some dinner. We're going to have her make some garden salad just because um, they had grilled cheese um, yesterday, so I don't think they really want grilled cheese two days in a row. Okay, um, Kendall is just about finished making the garden salad. Quinn has decided to go to the sand castle, but you don't want to go to the sand castle. You're hungry. Grab a serving. And she is also a little bit hungry, so we're going to have her grab a serving as well. Quinn and Kendall just finished eating, so Kendall is going to clean up um, the dishes and then she is going to put Quinn to bed. It is already pretty late so she unfortunately is not going to have time to read her story tonight. She is just going to put her to bed because um, Kendall has a lot of stuff that she has to do. Okay and after she does that she is going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Okay so Kendall um, has just finished fishing. She is going to go ahead and go to bed. As you can see, she is very tired. She's been fishing for a while, probably like three hours, and it's almost two o'clock. She is exhausted, so she is going to go to bed. She is super tired, and we're going to go ahead and see what she caught. So she caught a koi worth $21 and a goldfish worth $7. She also caught a tetra two tetras and they're both worth eight dollars so we're gonna go ahead and sell these so that she can get some money Kendall had a really late night so she's probably gonna be sleeping for quite a while longer than Quinny, because Quinny is probably going to wake up soon. She really needs to go potty, so she is going to go potty with Brian to her mama. She woke her up. Well, I guess that's life, girl. You can't, um, can't always sleep in with little kids. In fact, you almost never can. So, she is going to go ahead and I'm going to have her cook some breakfast because um, they're both going to be pretty hungry. Eggs and toast is the least expensive so that's what we're going to do because they're not living off much. Breakfast is done so Quinn is going to also grab a serving and yeah. Then mommy is going to go to the bathroom and she is going to clean up. Um, and Quinn is angry because she is done playing with toys. She doesn't want to anymore. He's asking what the table is for. Mom also needs to do the dishes. So mom's going to have to get up. She didn't get much um, sleep time, but she got a little bit. They're all um, pretty happy. So we're going to go ahead and go to a park with Quinn. So Quinn is over here playing with her toys outside in the park. And mom is just over here, um, digging up some stuff. I didn't want her to go too far away from Quinn, although this is pretty far. Mom just finished her collecting, so now she is going to, um, play with Quinn.
Now they are playing. They're roughhousing. <laughs> okay, they are back home and Quinn is very hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and open and get the garden salads out. Quinn, don't play in the toilet. She's gonna go ahead and eat. Mom is eating cereal, but we don't want you to eat that. You need to eat the garden salads because those are gonna go bad first. Kendall is finishing up cleaning the dishes, and there's a lady right here, I don't know who she is, and she's going to put away the rest of the garden salad and use the restroom. She's also going to... She could go to bed, but I feel like tonight she has enough energy to go get more. Okay, so um, Kendall just finished collecting everything that she could find and she is going to take a bath because she is a little dirty from doing that, so she's going to go ahead and do that. And then she's going to go to bed because she's super tired. While she's doing that, let's see what she found. She found a lot this time. She found a striped dirt frog worth $30. She found a eggplant frog worth $10. She also found a spotted leaf frog worth $10 as well. She also found an emerald worth $20 and a uh, death metals worth 60 bucks. And then we have some bluebells worth $2 each, so that's $20 right there. We have um, snapdragons and some more flowers. We also have strawberries and some apples. So we're going to go ahead and sell those apples. And we also got some potatoes. We're going to go ahead and sell those potatoes too. And these three right here, before we sell all of them, we are going to put a few of these down here so that maybe she can make a little bit of profit. And then we're going to go ahead and sell the rest of them. And she is also going to put some strawberries over here as well and then sell the rest. And then we will just sell those because we have a few of those as well. We also have a time capsule. So we're going to go ahead and put that down so that she can open that whenever she gets the time. And she is sleeping now. Quinn is awake now. Mom is tired, but she needs to get up. Um, Quinn just woke her up. We're going to go ahead and have her open that. A quick meal. She's also going to have some cereal too. Quinn is going to eat the cereal here. She is very uncomfortable because she needs to change Quinn's diaper, which we'll do after she eats. Um, they're both pretty hungry. She's changing her diaper though, and then she's going to give Quinn a bubble bath because Quinn is pretty stinky. There's Quinn. She's going to go get her bath. And then she is going to use the bathroom. Quinn will be pretty all set after that. So let's see what she got from the times capsule. She got um, a common statue. So we're going to go ahead and sell this for $20. And we also have two upgrade parts that were $10 each. We're going to go ahead and keep those because they're not worth that much and we might end up needing them eventually. When Kendall is done giving her a bath and going to the restroom, we're going to have her plant the plants that we laid out for her. And she also can harvest all of them and she also needs to water all of them. And Quinn can go play outside like she's doing.
and from those snapdragons she got 20 of them which is worth 320 dollars each so that is really nice she has a thousand and six hundred dollars so we can definitely do some remodeling on their house to give them a much better home situation but we are going to um end the video right now and there will be a part two and probably many more parts after that as they get to where they want to be in life and so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see the next episode of this series thank you for watching bye